Hey guys, I wanted to do a video to tell you a little bit about the different uses of a mixing medium. And um, I'd like to start off by first saying that I got the recipe to make my own mixing medium at home with very inexpensive ingredients from Encore. So um, if you get the chance, go check out his channel. Um, and it will show you exactly how to create your own and more on what it is and the purposes of it and different things like that. So just wanted to start out by saying that, that uh, he gets all the credit for um, what this is and kind of enlightening me as to how you can use mixing medium. And basically um, when you think about a mixing medium, it's something that you can use to basically change the texture of your uh, powder makeup. So whether that's an eyeshadow, a blush, um, uh, a powder even, I mean for whatever purpose you would want to use, but I would say the main thing is it gives you the capability of taking your eyeshadows and using them wet but in a way that, I mean this is actually has an ingredient in it that sort of captures moisture and holds it in and it's even more effective than just using water to apply your shadows wet. Um, so, but that would be a main thing is that you could take any shadow and create your own liner out of it. Or you can wear your shadows foiled, as some people call it, by applying this and then applying the shadow so it appears that it is wet or maybe doesn't even look wet but might look more metallic, more intense. You'll notice that different colors will respond differently when you start using the mixing medium with them. But um, there's, a, there's just a lot of different uses for it. And um, what I did was I went ahead and made it, and it's one part glycerin, which is something you can find at Walmart for like one or two bucks for a little tub that's like this tall, or it's, it's actually clear. It's clear and almost kind of syrupy looking, and it's in a little uh, bottle like shaped about like this. I don't know why I didn't just bring it out, but it's shaped somewhat like that and about that size, and it's clear, and it will be kind of a syrupy texture if you were to turn it around and stuff. But you use one part glycerin to three parts water. And like this is what my little thing, I put a little label on it, but I just put it in a little travel container that I got from Big Lots in a set. And I just used what Encore suggested, but because there are no preservatives in this, so you don't want to necessarily make a huge big batch. So I just used like the, um, the cap of my water bottle that I used for the water um, to just do that mixing wise and that way I only had a small amount and it's you it really takes very little as you will see to um, make this effective so I want to go ahead and show you what I've done because I've done some swatches to show you what the difference is between um, uh, wearing a shadow dry and wearing a shadow wet with a mixing medium and then I'll show you how I do it so Let's go ahead and turn it around here. So these are several of the shadows that I'm using. Um, one is Wet n Wild Mega Shimmer, Shimmer Dust, and the color is Pink Orchid. So that's the first one. The next one is one of my Femme Couture Mineral Effects shadows in um, Golden Oasis. And so that this is like a really light shade, uh, sort of light mid-tone shade, and then a darker shade which is my e.l.f. mineral shadow in Confident. It's kind of like a dark taupe. So if we take a look at my hand here, the ones with M are with mixing medium used, okay? So here you can see we're looking at the top one. This is the Wet n Wild shadow. You can see on the left there, it's a nice shimmery shade, but on the right, see how much more um, intense that shimmer is? And then as we go down and look at that gold shade, I mean, the gold is nice as is again, but as you see the light kind of move on that, it's really pretty. You can tell any, any shadow that has a hint of metallic nature to it, this will really make the most of that. And then look at the elf. It almost seems like it's a slightly different color with that because it's picking up more light. It looks more dense and it's picking up more light on the right hand side there. And it almost looks more like a goldeny tone and on the left almost a plummy brown. So, you know, it doesn't necessarily, I'm not really saying that it makes your shadows better, but in some cases it'll make them either, like with the top it'll make it more intense 
in the middle, it'll make it more metallic, and on the, the bottom, it'll just make it more reflective of the light. So I just wanted to show you um, what some of those different ways are. And so once again, here is my mixing medium bottle that I made. And just like a little cheap plastic bottle that came in a set of travel things. And I also put down there what my recipe is for it. One part glycerin to three parts purified water. So now I'm going to demonstrate to you how I go about doing this. Because you might say, oh, well, that's all nice on your hand, but <laughs> how do I do it? So... Um, this is what I would recommend. All of those were loose shadows, so I was able to like tap a little bit out on my hand, or you might just shake this, put it on a brush, put it on your eye, and then use a um, flatter brush to dip into the mixing medium and spread it around. But on your hand, um, obviously we're going to do this a little differently. So when I, when I did these, what I'm trying to say is that I tapped the shadow out onto my hand first. But you might also be wondering, you might say, well, I don't have a lot of loose shadows. Will this still work with a press shadow? And I'm going to about going to show you that it does. Um, I'm going to use my Milani shadow in blue ice. And so what I'm going to do is take my regular shadow brush, dip it in here, get a decent amount of color on it, and I'm going to just apply that right here on my hand. Get a little color on there so you can just see what color I'm dealing with. Okay, so see that blue there? It's a pretty good shade of blue. But now what I've done with my mixing medium, since this will squirt out drops, okay, and even a little droplet. See if you can see what the size of a droplet is falling out on here. See that drop? That will be more than what you need, okay? <laughs> But I'm going to use, um, this was used to be a concealer brush. I use it for a number of different things now. But I'm just going to dip that. And by the way, if you're wondering what this is, this used to be my e.l.f. eye makeup remover pads, and now it's just a little palette. And I'm just going to stick the tip of my brush just barely down in there. You don't want too much. And then I'm going to just blend this on top, on top of that blue. Okay. Oops, I may not be holding it very well for you. Okay, and you can see that that color has already gained intensity since we've done this. And then, you might be looking at that and saying, I like that. Let's see if we can take it a little further. You can layer it. Layer the dry on top of the wet. And then blend again with this brush. Look at what we've got now you have a totally different color. Let's give you some perspective and show you what it was like with nothing right next to it. Wow, it really takes a lot to build up to that same intensity. Okay, right here, no mixing medium. Here, I'm sorry, I'm like <laughs> crazy here. This is with, okay? And I want to also try to show you here that if you touch it afterwards, like this whole side right here, this has the mixing medium, you can touch it and it's not wet to the touch, okay? It dries, <laughs> so don't worry about that. But just to show you, yeah, it takes a very, very little. It will take me forever <laughs> to run out of this, okay? So, um, like I said, you could do this real easily with a liner brush. You could make a cool liner out of that blue shade or this shade down here. I mean, the options are just really endless. But, um, like I said, if you want more information, check out Encore's site, and he has a great video on how to make mixing medium, how to use it, too. So, um, hope this helps you guys. Thanks.